Okay, welcome everybody to our last technical session um, on causal inference and program evaluation. Um, we'll be talking about instrumental variables this week. Um, this is um, the, the last kind of code heavy co or class session. Um, it's also the trickiest method I find um, for finding causal inference from observational data. Um, as you've seen with the other sessions, randomized controlled trials and diff and diff and especially regression discontinuity, those are all fairly Hopefully, straightforward. Um, the logic behind them is is more understandable. Um, the the stuff we're covering today with instrumental variables is a little bit trickier to wrap your head around. It involves some algebraic trickery and manipulation to get things to work right, and so it kind of feels off compared to the other things that we've looked at. Um, and it's a tricky thing. Finding good instruments in the actual real world is hard to do. Um, so hopefully by the end of the session, you'll at least have a good toolkit for critiquing existing instrumental variable studies and knowing what to look for and what to avoid um, when you do these things on your own. Um, you'll also learn all sorts of um, ways to do this in R and how to um, best structure your data so that you can do this kind of analysis. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So our plan for today is to cover instrumental variables here. Um, we're going to cover some specific topics. Um, I have these all broken up into separate videos. You can go back and watch um, different chunks of this lecture. Um, we'll start off defining some new terms um, that are super important for instrumental variables research. Um, it's this idea of endogeneity and exogeneity. And uh, we'll look at different examples of what this means and how you can define it. Um, part of the reason we focus so much on DAGs throughout the semester is because um, using DAG language actually helps uh, distinguish between endogeneity and exogeneity really well. And so hopefully that should help as you try to wrap your head around this stuff. Um, then we'll talk about what instruments actually are and the different qualifications to have a good instrument. Um, then we'll go through an example of using an instrument and doing something called two-stage or two stage least squares regression, um, where you use an instrument in the first stage of a regression model and then pull out information from that and use that in the second stage to make causal inference. And we'll walk through a full example of that. Um, then we'll walk through an example of doing this with R. Um, we'll go step by step um, how you do this two-stage least squares regression um, analysis and how you interpret the results and how you um, make plots and, and do the actual analysis. And then we'll finish um, with some important stuff um, about the limitations of, of instrumental variables. Um, because unlike randomized controlled trials and other things, um, we're not finding population level average treatment effects when we look at instrumental variables. Similar to with regression discontinuity, we didn't find population level treatment effects. Um, what we found instead were the treatment effects for people that were directly in the bandwidth um, that we were looking at. Um, with instrumental variables, we're not looking at bandwidths, but we are looking at the effect of a policy or a program on those who comply with it, um, meaning that they were theoretically assigned to the program and they complied with it. They did the assignment. Um, you also have non-compliers. You also have never takers who will never do it if, if they're assigned to, and you have always takers who will always um, do the program even, even if they're not assigned to it. Um, and so uh, being able to distinguish between those different groups in a population um, and being able to limit the effects that you find to those groups is very important. And so we'll talk about kind of the theory and the math behind that and then show an example in R of how you can kind of pull out the effects of, of a program or a policy just on the compliers and how that's related to instrumental variables. So that's what we're going to do.